What you guys got another video here for you on how to make Windows Defender antivirus more secure. Now Windows Defender comes built into Windows itself. Now it's not the best antivirus out there on the market. And again, that's always going to be up for debate because many people have their own opinions about what the best antivirus is. Now, if you compare this against Bitdefender, then obviously Bitdefender comes out on top in my personal experience with testing and things like that against ransomware and other nasty stuff. Bitdefender is probably uh, the better option for you. But if you're one of those people that are a bit more clued up and tech savvy, then you can get by with just Windows Defender itself as long as you know what you're doing and what files not to click on and what links not to click on and things like that. But if you're looking for something with, you know, good ransomware protection, then Windows Defender is certainly not it. So core isolation is also built into Windows, and this is another quite aggressive uh, built-in feature in Windows, but some people like to turn it off. In my personal experience, it's a really good feature to have turned on for extra protection, but it can interfere with some things. Now, the program we're going to be using here is called Configure Defender. It's a stable version. Uh, it's version 4.0.0.1. It was released on July 2024. It's open source and you can check all the code out yourself. And again, these are uh, tried and trusted tweaks that people have tested. And also it will harden the security of Windows by using this particular feature. Now, these features can be also done in the registry, but this application will take care of all that for you. So let's go ahead and we've downloaded this to our computer here. Let me just delete the rest of these so you can quickly see uh, what the file is. So I'm going to delete all of these here. And this is the file we're looking at. Now, there's a lot of security channels out there that would recommend something like this to tighten up security on Windows. I'm going to upload this file to Virus Total just to show you there is a couple of little flags here that I wanted to point out. And it's these two right here. Now, these two flags that you see here are what we call false positives. If you look on the site, there is tons of other well-known reputable software that doesn't flag this particular type of software. Now, again, like I've said before, this software has been out for a very long time and it's been part of the community and it's been well tested and there is no malware inside of this program. But if you don't want to use it, by all means don't, but it is safe to use. So we're going to open this up and you can see it is registered to this person right here. And you can see it's open source developer and it gives you his name right here. So I'm going to accept those terms conditions and run the program on the system. Now, once the program opens up by default, you are running default settings. And you can see here there is four options. There's default, uh, which will be listed right here. And there is high, which will also give you some information about high settings. There's interactive and there's max settings. Now, in basic Defender settings here, it lists out all of the settings here. You can manually configure this yourself. You don't have to use the pre-configured settings up the top, but you can see we do have a bunch of good settings inside here, which are much more easier to manage and much more easier to understand. And you can go ahead and turn on and turn off what you don't want. Now, if we go up to the very top here and take a look at the pre-configured settings here, which is default high, interactive and max. On high, you can see it does give you a little bubble that says press this button to set uh, Microsoft Defender advanced settings. Most of the ASR rules and other advanced settings will be enabled. And you've got press this button to enable all available advanced settings in interactive mode. And then we've got press this button right here uh, to enable all available advanced settings. They should be applied only by advanced users because of the many false positives that you might receive. And that's because uh, you're putting the max settings uh, turned on by clicking on this. It's going to give you the max protection level is suited to advanced users. It's telling us that uh, some folders uh, were excluded in ASR to avoid possible issues. And you can see here, it's asking us to either hide or keep unhidden. If you apply the protection on your computer of the child or casual user, then it's recommended to hide the Windows Security Center. This will prevent the user from disabling Windows Defender and real-time protection or other security settings. So if you want to keep that locked down and stop them from turning 
the Windows Security or Windows Defender off, then you can keep it hidden by clicking on the hide button here and it will stop them tampering with it. But we're going to just keep it unhidden for here and you can see max protection level has been enabled. Now you can go through and read all of the information and you can still uh, change some of these settings while you're in the uh, maximum uh, settings mode. So for instance, uh, automatic sample submission here, you can change this if you want to, to whatever you like. But I'm going to leave these as is. But again, you can go through this and disable and enable and change the settings to your liking. Personally, I think maximum setting is pretty good and it's a really good uh, way of keeping you safe. And if you want to see a full video on how to harden security on a Windows based system, let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you on how to keep yourself safe and secure when you're surfing the web on a Windows based system using some of the software that's available out there. A lot of it will be free software. I'll try and make it as free as possible, but there will be some paid options which you can also use. And again, you can go through here and choose what you want on your settings if you want to just use your own custom settings, if that's the way you want to go about doing things. But this is a good way of tightening the security on Windows Defender if you use Windows Defender as your main antivirus program. Now, if you want to change the settings here, say, for instance, I wanted to turn off control folder access here because this can be a bit of a nightmare, then you can just turn this feature off by just doing the drop down arrow here and clicking this to disable. And then you can hit the refresh button and this will change those settings and make those settings uh, disabled for you. And that's how easy it is to change the settings once you've got it on max settings here. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. Now also we can hide security center here if you wanted to after the fact if you wanted to do that. So let's quickly hit refresh and now you can see it's now set those uh, settings for us. And if we take a look now and come down to the controlled folder access you can see that's been disabled. You also have up the very top here the defender security log so this will be where all your logs are if you want to keep an eye out. If you've been uh, flagged a file or something like that you can check the logs and events but there is none on this system because it's a brand new fresh install. There's some info here about the settings and there's also info about Defender as well. So you've got all of that with this little application. It's really a good little program to uh, tighten up the security on Windows Defender. Now it's also important to have a second opinion scanner and you can run these manually. These are not installed running on the computer at all times, but you can use programs like Hitman Pro and you can use other programs like uh, say MCSoft Emergency uh, Toolkit. It's a really decent uh, program to really sort of run scans on your PC for any sort of other viruses that might have been missed. Now you should be using a second opinion scanner on your PC as part of your uh, PC maintenance program for maybe you're doing a scan every month and you should run scans with your main antivirus program and your second opinion scanner to make sure that you don't have anything left on the system. Also using a decent firewall, something like Simple Firewall is pretty good. If you want to see videos on Simple Firewall or any other type of software, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll be, do my best to make those videos for you. Now, of course, there's going to be people telling you you don't need any type of antivirus whatsoever and you can even uh, turn off and remove Windows Defender, which is not advisable. You do need some form of protection. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Let me know your opinions in the comments section down below and I'll do my best to answer some of those and make videos that you want to see on the topics that you recommend in the comments section. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.